Back to Studio 701. We love, 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 love great coffee on this show. We I really do. do. For sure. <laughs> but have you ever roasted your coffee like a cowboy? Let's take a look at Brian Jackson's next video from his adventure series. I'm Brian Jackson with Mighty Missouri Coffee. Today we are going to roast cowboy coffee and eat hardtack. I'm here with Matt Shannondor out of Fort Abraham Lincoln, south of Mandan, and we are uh, talking coffee. They the are. Old fashioned way. Well, coffee was um, one of the staples for the soldiers here at Fort Abraham Lincoln. It was probably one of the most coveted staples. Actually, going all the way back to the Civil War and prior to that, coffee played a very, very important role in um, campaign life, fort life um, for these soldiers. Mm -hmm. Can we roast some? Yeah, definitely. All right. Brazil was, during this time period, the number one exporter of green coffee beans. So, on post, you would have had the typical um, period type of coffee grinder which would have been used probably a large much more larger version of this on campaign you weren't able to, to carry this along and so oftentimes they'd use a blunt object and typically that was the back end or the butt end of their um, their rifle um, the coffee was in canvas sacks the old cowboy coffee as we call it would have had a eggshell or some sort of egg in there and that shell actually has a chemical that helps pull the grounds to the bottom while it's boiling I'm gonna try our coffee here once. It's pretty light color in there. Sink it. <laughs> not bad. It's not strong yet. It's not strong, <laughs> but it's not bad. It's not strong, but you know, give it a three hours of boiling, it'll be, uh, it'll yeah. be nice and strong. It, so I typically, can eat this. yeah. So typically, the men would take this. It was very Seriously. hard. It was produced out east, manufactured in large plants. It was basically a flour, salt, water mixture, kind of like a large cracker. And these would last months, it's sometimes years. I mean, they'd put it up in their haversacks, they'd have them with them on campaign, dip it in their coffee, that would soften it up. This, this is was, kind of enjoyable. Just as a snack, yeah, like a, a snack on campaign, a cracker. Okay, can I, can I try my own mm -hmm. roast? I got a staple in it. Already. <laughs> Already. So honestly, Matt, this is this is this may be where I quit. Cool, awesome. Well, I'm excited to try this. Thank you, Matt, so much yeah. for taking the time to teach me how to do this. Alright. <laughs> it's uh it smells a little underdeveloped. <laughs> Well, the point is, we tried. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Matt and Fort Abraham Lincoln. Had a blast. Hard tack is hard tack, and uh, I'll get better at roasting coffee the, the, the old fashioned way. <laughs> wow. Now, Brian Jackson, he's joining us now. Thanks for being on the show with us today, Brian. I got to tell you, that looked really fun, and I, I really appreciate your honesty, man. <laughs> that was a blast. It was great <laughs> being out there. So, what, it didn't taste as good as you were hoping, or what, what, what do you think happened there? Well, yeah, I, I mean, clearly this is not the way that I would typically roast coffee. And so I wasn't used to it, tried some new things, and uh, <laughs> maybe with practice I would get a little bit better. But no, that, that wasn't my favorite coffee. <laughs> so do you think if you would have had more time, like more time in the, uh, the cast iron skillet and more time boiling it, it, it would have turned into something at least decent? Or is it we're just, the technology is so far along now that that's how we end up with great well, coffee? Well, listen, a lot of things went wrong for me. <laughs> <laughs> so a lot of things could have been better, but yeah, the technology these days is different. I mean, it's not just putting it in a griddle and letting it go, so. Sure. Well, I just love your adventure series that you do. Um, you have also found a bald eagle on your adventure series. And how did you come up with this topic that you wanted to go for and try to make uh, coffee the old-fashioned way? 
Well, Matt Shannondor out there was just fantastic, and he's so knowledgeable about all these different things. And one time we were talking, and, and uh, uh, coffee came up, and I was just fascinated to learn how they would bring coffee in. And he mentioned uh, grinding coffee would sometimes be important, and they didn't have a grinder, so it would be, you know, grab the butt of the rifle. And um, so it was just fascinating. I thought, man, we need, to, we need to have an adventure out here and talk coffee. Man. It was fun to watch. I don't know that I'll try it, but it did look fun. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> thanks, Brian, for sharing that with us. Absolutely. Thanks. Yeah, thanks so much, Brian. And for more information on the adventure series promoted by Mighty Missouri Coffee, check out MightyMissouri.com. All right. Now, coming up next, Carmel speaks with a local dispensary about quality cannabis for health and wellness. That's